Welcome to this video from Learn the Electrics. An electrician contacted me recently. He had been asked to wire in an already fitted motorised garage door. It just needs the wires connecting, he was told. We have the instructions. But the instructions and the door gear were all Spanish. The switches and the motors were all correctly CE marked and the voltage rating was suitable. A 6 amp circuit breaker was chosen and a separate isolator switch was also installed. There were two switches of slightly different styles to choose from, but basically they were an up and down button and that's it. We will look at what to do with each switch and we should begin with switch number one. Don't forget to safely isolate the circuit before working on it. And usually I will do all of the dead install first and then connect phase and neutral into the consumer unit last and then test. I've redrawn the instructions and made the switch a little clearer. First, locate the up and down cables and connect these as required between the switch and the motor. This is a single phase motor, so now connect the neutral wire into the motor and take this to the isolator. And the same with the earth, but the earth must be unswitched. Connect the phase wire from the switch to the isolator switch and now the last step is to connect the phase neutral and earth from the isolator to the consumer unit. And that's it, job done. If the motor does not move in the direction indicated on the switch, exchange the positions of the up and down wires, either at the switch or at the motor, but not at both locations. We have changed them at the switch on this drawing as shown by the arrows. Do not change the phase and neutral. Let's look at the second switch, made to a slightly different layout. This is the switch as you can see. The down terminals are now at the top left and the up terminals are at the bottom right. The incoming phase connection is still at the bottom left. If we had chosen the second switch with the up and down connections that are opposite to the first switch, then this is not really a problem. We just wire accordingly. The phase from the isolator goes into the terminal marked L, or number one on this drawing. The neutral goes from the isolator to the motor as before, and the earth also. Now the up wire goes into the bottom right marked number two, and the down wire into the top left terminal marked number three. Connect it from the isolator to the consumer unit and then inspect it, test it and energize the circuit. And again, that is it. If, as we mentioned before, the motor direction is wrong, isolate the circuit again, exchange wires two and three in the switch and the motor direction will be reversed. This is the arrangement of the windings inside the motor. We also have two very descriptive videos on single phase motors that will give you a great understanding of how they work. And we will leave links to them in the description to this video. For now, notice that the U winding has U1 at the bottom and U2 at the top. And the direction is up, for instance. Now, if we exchange the up and down wires in the switch, then we will change the direction of flow through the U winding again as shown by the down arrow. Changing the order of the wires in the switch will change the motor direction. We are changing the flow of current, the phasing in the windings. We are not changing the phase and neutral connections. And that is all that there is to it. Installing a single phase motor is very straightforward. Phase and neutral should be installed as required with an appropriately rated circuit breaker and isolator. Up and down motor cables can be crossed over if the motor direction does not match the switch markings. And be aware that we do not cross over phase and neutral. This will have no effect. Don't forget the earth connection and always practice safe working and circuit isolation. And do have a look at the other videos as shown in the description. It will add enormously to your mental toolbox. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. 
And here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website, as shown, will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on Return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description. If you click on Continue Reading, you'll get more information. Each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the left of the home page and all our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector. Page 2, 3, 4, etc. They will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Please don't miss the next one. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.